Hello and welcome to today's video. My name's Emma and this is Erin and today we're going to do a back to school haul for you. We're going to do a come shop with me. We've got a list of stuff. Erin's going into year four. Ethan's going into year two. So we've got to get some bits and pieces. I've already got some stuff from Tesco. We went to Tesco the other day, didn't we? And got loads yeah. of bits and bobs. As we're in the UK, we're super lucky. We don't actually have a list of stationery you need to get. Because in America, Erin, do you know they have to get everything? So let me know if you're in a different country. Let me know what you have to get for school. So in our schools are like felts and crayons and paper yeah. and pads are all provided i'm going to get some extra bits and pieces like erin needs a pencil case don't you because this is year four she needs a pencil case it's very exciting and i want some bits and bobs for home so like felts and crayons and paper for home because i'm going to have like a nice homework area and i also want them to have some nice stuff on their desks yeah is there anything specific you're looking for today um maybe some good rubbers some good rubbers. Wow. We always need some. Did we not buy any in Tesco's? I don't know. I think we might need rubbers and a sharp. Did we get a yeah. sharpener? Yeah. We got, we got a sharpener. Okay. So we, yeah. we're on the look for rubbers. I also want to get them like a little diary each. So we're going to Poundland to get kind of the um, the pound stuff. <laughs> if you're looking for stationery that's a bit more expensive, I did do another back to school stationery haul, which is probably more appropriate if you're like off to university or you're going back to college, or you're just a mum that loves stationery, so I'll leave that <laughs> below and I'll leave that above. So shall we go and have a little look in the shop? Yes. And pick up some bits and pieces. Yes. Marvellous. All right, guys, we are now off to Poundland. We have just filmed for the weekly vlog, which I will link above and I'll link below. We filmed a really nice, like kind of, come shop with a school uniform. And then also in that vlog, I'm gonna put how an organized school uniform. So let's head to Poundland. We are here in the stationery area and, and kind of like party stuff. Right, Erin, you said you wanted rubbers, didn't you? Yeah. Oh no, they're, I thought they were rubbers, they're stamps. Uh, they're quite cool. Right, shall we start off with some crafty bit? Oh, hang on, right, concentrate. I want you to have some new felts for your bedrooms. So yeah. shall we grab... Do you want colour change markers? Do you want thick and thin double-ended markers? Color do you want add some colour felt pens? Color. Pick which ones you want. Okay, pop them in there. I also think we need some paints, actually. Oh, these are really good. But we've got something similar to that at home. Shall we get some crayons when we go to Florida? Yeah. I put those in as well then. Okay. That'll do. Or do you think these would be better for Florida? Like it already comes in a pencil case. Yeah. yeah. Okay, put those in. Put both in. That's okay. Right. Did we pick up some paints? Yes. yes. Okay. What else do we need? Um, you always go in on about googly eyes. <laughs> yeah, usually. And these are Crayola. Get big ones. Yeah. Or the little ones. Which ones? Let's get one or the other. Um, the big ones. Okay. Googly eyes for you. What else do you think we need? They're like if you want to make little stick friends. I don't think we really need those. Um, so stuff for like homework that's good is that so these are all Crayola stuff. This is good. Should we get letters and numbers for homework? Yeah? Yeah. Put those away. And Crayola's a really good brand as well. Oh, what else do we need? Do you know what? I'm going to get some tissue paper. Which, I'm going to get that tissue paper for um, homeworks and also for wrapping presents. Put that in. Should we get some paintbrushes? Yeah. Can we get some of it? No, we're not going to get acrylic paint. Good try. Get two this. sets. Have we got that? Yeah, we've got all of them. But are they all working or are they all yeah. old? Old. Well, get two packs and we can leave it at home, can't we? Just in yeah. case. Yeah. Okay, right. Erin. You want a pencil case, don't you? You don't need one, dude. You don't get one in your year. Yeah. So do you want to have a pick which pencil case you want? Mm. So we have got, we've got like uh, a Feed Me Pencils Monster. Yeah. We've got, um, what's that? Is that a narwhal? Mm. Oh, I'm not a unicorn. Now I see, I sense you're going to have issues because you don't like the girly ones, do you? And you probably yeah. don't like the ant. What about this one? 
Would you want to go and try somewhere else for that? Yeah, yeah they're not your cup of tea, are they? Yeah. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. What else have we got that we need? Oh, get some craft paper for me, please. No, down there, dude. Yes, please. Thank you. Put that in. That would be good for any homework project. And also, could you get me some white cards? That'd be good for any homework projects as well. This one. Yes, please. Thank you. Right, let's have a look for... I don't think we need any folders. I think we're okay. You don't need a folder, dude. You have a folder. You're okay. Erin, you, could you look through and try and find me some plain pads? And also have a little look at the diaries and see if there's any diaries you want. There's one there that's like an academic diary yeah. that looks quite nice. Yeah. So have a little look through there. And I am going to get... I actually got some print stick the other day. Oh, I'm going to get some labels. That might be quite good. To label bits and pieces for my office. And I'm going to get some fake post-it notes which are always really good. I'm going to get two, one, one for each of them. Okay. You want that sparkly diary? Okay. Or do you want to get a plain pad instead? You want that one? Oh, that's a journal. Yeah, you want that? Okay, pop that in there then. A journal's a bit like a diary, but I don't think it will say the diary dates in it. We can have a look when we get back. Yeah, go and have a little look at the journal then. Right. What did we get the other day from Tesco's? I've got loads of stuff. Oh, look, these are like a dupe for the paper chase ones I got. So go and, go and check out my paper chase video. These are very good copy. Okay, I am going to get... Oh, that's a good big pack of pencils. Let's see where we can get those from. That one seems a bit... You want to get the journal instead? Okay, swap it then. Put the other one back nice and neatly, please. Let's try and find where those pencils are. And of course, we have to come and pick Lucy something. I like this one. Yes. Well, you can't pick one, it just, there's no point picking the same thing. Somebody else pick something one. else. Oh. Ethan can pick that, Erin, you pick something else. Um. Maybe get her three tennis balls. She likes the tennis balls, doesn't she? She likes chewing them. Right, I want you to do it, squeak the balls, and let's see if anybody's at home's dog jumps up when they squeak them. You ready? <laughs> let us know in the comments. We're having the great lunchbox debate. Erin's traditionally had one of these ones, but they often get wet and grubby. Um, so I think we're going to try with this one this yep. year, which is a system of lunch. Right, and we need a bottle. So could you pick which colour bottle you want? There's a two pack there for four pound, and they're bigger than the little ones. Do you want one of those big ones instead? Um, yeah. These ones, we can have one each. We've swapped, we've come over here and these are a bit cheaper. Oh, Erin, look at these down here. What? Whoa, I'm not sure you'll fit much lunch <laughs> in. Is that too small for you? Yeah. That's two there, I think, isn't it? One on top of each other? No. Is that too small? <laughs> okay. But that might be good if you look. So, should we get these? These, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ethan, do you want to get one as well? So, we are back home. The children just settled down to watch a bit of telly, because it's the summer and that's what we're doing in the summer. And I'm doing this haul a little bit different. I usually would hold up each individual item, but I've kind of laid it out, and I'm gonna talk to you about it like that. We have washing going on, because it's the holiday, and every single day we are doing washing. There's just so much washing. So I'm gonna go through all that I've got and kind of chat about what I got in Tesco's and what I got in Poundland and what we're using it for. And I hope you like this kind of haul. Let me know below what you think about it. Let's go see the stuff. So starting off with the Tesco stuff, we all know that my favorite pen of all time is the Zebra pen. So I have got this. This kind of section is for, like for best, the area that is gonna be used for homework projects, for homeworks, stuff that's going to be kind of distributed as and when rather than the children being able to have them whenever they want. So most of this, with the exception I think of the things that have a pound on, were in a half price sale. So I got some really great deals. So I got the zebra pens because they're brilliant. For Ethan, for handwriting, I picked up some Beryl durable tip handwriting pens, which are really good for people that are just starting out to write properly with pens. I got some Sharpies, which are always really handy to have in the house and will not 
be anywhere near the children because these are permanent markers so these will be in my office we get through glue sticks here just at a phenomenal rate however if you get them from poundland i don't find they work as well so i picked up some kind of name brand prip stick i got this pack of pencil crayons which i thought would be wonderful for homework projects i have ordered like a pen caddy it might be my last vlog where i set up this kind of homework area or it might be in another one because i it, i'm not sure when it's going to arrive but i picked up those i loved this set these are Crayola, so they're washable markers, and it's a pack of 50. It's got all those colours there, and again, I thought that would be great for homework project. I picked up some Polly Pockets, as you know, I call them Polly Pockets, but let me know what you call them in the comments. Somebody called it like a slippery fish or something bizarre, but um, I will say if you get these from Panland, they're not very great quality, so I've got these from Tesco's. I thought this would be brilliant for kind of like the homework area, some really nice different coloured biros, which would be really good for like headers of homeworks and underlining and all that good stuff. Erin and Ethan wanted sets of stuff for themselves, so Erin is the blue and Ethan is the green and I got them a sellotape each, some scissors, we're always rowing over scissors, we can never find scissors in our house, a sharpener and a rubber and rulers each and finally from tesco's oh zebra the best i'll let you know how i get on with these i've never used them before they're met metallic gel pens so these again will be kept kind of out of the way and for underlining or bullet pointing or ticking or whatever so that's all the tesco's stuff done now moving over to the poundland stuff which you saw us get the children both wanted a journal. Let's open it so you can see inside it. Oh, it comes with some stickers. And it's, oh, this is like a, this is actually really good if you're an adult and you like doing bullet journaling. That's very good. So that's really nice. And Erin's got this silvery one. I managed to find one of, oh, it's a bit grubby, guys. I managed to find one of the last packs of 30 pencils with rubbers on the bottom. So that'll keep them going. These will be just distributed throughout the year. We've got some Milli colouring pencils, which are really good if you're going travelling, um, on planes or in cars. And I also got this, don't be sketchy, sketch pens, which I thought was really good for the plane because it comes in a little pot. Ethan always likes making sock puppets and these are really good for homework projects as well. So, And it's Crayola, which is a great brand, Wiggly Eyes. Picked up some paint brushes. These don't last massively long. Oh, oh you know, oh, they, you know, even if you wash them, they're not the best quality, but it's always good to have some paintbrushes around. And I got a palette, but I do wish I'd perhaps picked up another palette, but never mind, I didn't. The children chose what felt they wanted in their bedroom, so I'm kind of having the good quality Crayola stuff for their homework, and then in their bedroom for drawing and colouring or whatnot. Um, we've got pan and stuff, so thick and thin double-ended markers for Erin. Colour change markers for Ethan. Everybody loves a colour change marker. They're the most exciting kind. For homework, we've got letters and numbers, some Crayola stickers, which is really, really good. I've got a craft uh, pads, just different colour paper. Some card, which always comes in handy. I probably need to get some bigger card and stuff and bigger paper but I also need some plain paper it's hard to come by plain paper some tissue paper which I might use to wrap presents up with I haven't decided yet um I don't bother with kind of posh post-it notes so I just got the poundland post-it notes there some labels which would be really great just for me in my office and if they need label books or whatever and then I picked up these for ether so we've got a reading, writing book, make home learning fun. It's got all little sentences and, you know, stickers and a certificate and also multiplication and division. And we also, you saw in the shop, we got Ethan Times Table poster. Erin uh, absolutely loved doing a Times Table. And this year, Ethan has got his SATs or his SATs. So that will help with that. So there we go. That's all the stuff we've got for this year. 
to do with the stationery and I can't wait to get like the homework bit all sorted out nice and try and keep on top of it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I love stationery. There's nothing like a good stationery haul. It fills my heart with joy. Make sure you go and check out below one where I looked at Hamer, Tiger and Paper Chase. And I will be back with another video very soon. I am going to be taking a week off, guys, because I am going on holiday. So there'll be no weekly vlog or there'll be no Sunday upload. And then we'll be back with vlogs and all sorts of fun in September. Let me know below if you're looking forward to going back to school or your kids are starting school or what you loved about school. And I will see you for another upload soon. Bye, guys.